Welcome to this Fliptish tutorial on how to set up the T2 15 inch kiosk and card reader. So let's start with unboxing. Step one, inspect the box and contents for damage. Please contact the Fliptish team on help at fliptish.com if there is any damage to the device or the box after it has arrived at your location. Step two, each T2 kiosk should come with the following parts. A T2 kiosk with Fliptish branding, correct plug for its locality, EU, UK, North America, transformer, 80 mils of thermal printing paper, a WisePad 3 if you're in Europe or the UK, or a BB POS chipper if you're in North America. There will also be a charger for the WisePad 3 or the BB POS chipper, and a mount for the WisePad 3 for European and UK customers. A Phillips head screwdriver is required, but is not provided. This is only required for European and UK customers. Step three, remove all parts from the box and check the screen to make sure there's no damage before beginning the setup process. There should be branded stickers on both sides of the T2 kiosk. Please escalate to the Fliptish team if the branding is not in place. As you can see at the back of the device, we've included our support phone number in case there's any issues with the kiosk. Step four, remove the packaging from the power cable and transformer and connect the two together. Then connect the power cable to the appropriate port. You can see there's an arrow on the power cable showing which side should be pointing up. Then connect an ethernet cable to the appropriate port or if you wish to use Wi-Fi, this step can be ignored. When the device is plugged in, please press and hold the power button to turn on the device. The screen will then power on Press the arrow, select country and time zone, then choose a wired or Wi-Fi connection. For this demo, we're going to use a Wi-Fi connection. Then enter your details and press next. Press the activate button on the screen and wait for the device to download the required apps. The system will ask you to register with SunMe. Press the skip button on the top right hand corner of the screen. Do not input information in this field. The setup is completed. Press the enter the system button at the center foreground of the screen. The system will then ask you to enter the printing paper. The printing paper is not ready. Please check. Press OK and we can complete this process later. You will know the process was successful when you see a six digit code on screen. Now I'm going to hand you over to our kiosk expert Rob to show you how to connect your kiosk to your store using the Flipdish portal. After five to 10 minutes, once the kiosk and terminal has fully been set up, we will see that a code appears on both screens. Uh, this code is six digits long and it needs to be input on your portal to activate the kiosk and terminal respectively. First, we need to visit portal.flipdish.com to continue. The first step is visit your account page. And then on the left hand panel, we need to select kiosks. Once we select kiosks, we can add a new kiosk on the bottom right hand side of the screen. We can then name the kiosk. I'm going to name it Pizza Cafe. We then select the stores we want the kiosk to be associated to. So for a single store, we just select one store. And for a multi-store kiosk, we select multiple stores. Then we enter our six digit PIN code, which is 987384. When I click add kiosk, we should see the kiosk screen connect to the store. Okay, now let's look at mounting and connecting the WisePad 3 to the T2 kiosk. This is for UK and European customers only. Let's start with attaching the mount to the T2 kiosk. Before we begin, ensure the following parts are present. The WisePad arm, the WisePad holder, and three 3x10 millimeter screws. Only two are needed, but we've included a spare. If any of the parts I've just mentioned aren't included, please contact help at fliptish.com or call the number on the back of your kiosk. Okay, next step is to remove the back casing of the T2 kiosk to expose two screw holes. Using the Phillips head screwdriver and two of the 3 by 10 millimeter screws, please secure the arm to the kiosk. Attach the WisePad holder to the WisePad arm. They should slot in together and you'll hear a click. Unbox the WisePad and ensure that the WisePad and the charging cable are both present.
Place the wise pad into the cradle and attach the charging cable to the wise pad. Here's a little tip. To avoid a loose charging cable being seen and to keep your kiosk tidy, you can wrap the cable once around the neck of the kiosk. Okay, now let's move on to setting up the WisePad 3 and connecting it to the kiosk. Once the kiosk and WisePad have been powered on and the kiosk is set up, go to portal.flipdish.com to begin the process. Once you're on the Flipdish Portal homepage, use the icons on the side of the page, scroll down to Sales Channels and then click Kiosks. Then select the kiosk you want to connect your card reader to. Scroll down to Connect Card Reader and click Card Reader Pairing Mode. You will then be asked to enable Bluetooth on your kiosk device. Click OK. Then move back to your Flipdish kiosk. You will be asked if you would like to connect a card reader. Click Connect Device. Next you'll have to press Enable on the screen. You will then have to allow the device to turn on Bluetooth. Select the wise pad you wish to connect to the kiosk. A number will appear starting with WPC and a 12 digit number will follow. This number is also on the back of your wise pad or if you press the top right button on the wise pad once you will see the wise pad number. Please match the number on the wise pad with the number on the kiosk screen. Physically press the screen with the correlating WPC number. A screen will appear saying connecting devices. This may take up to 15 minutes to connect. To confirm the card reader is connected, please check to see if the Visa symbol is in the bottom left hand side of the screen. Please then run a test payment. To confirm that the card reader was connected successfully, return to the Flipdish portal and simply refresh the page. Then again select the kiosk that you connected the card reader to and scroll down and you'll now see that the WPC number is present. This means that the card reader has been successfully connected. Now let's look at how to add printing paper to the T2 kiosk. Step 1. Release the clip on the side of the kiosk as you can see demonstrated. The front end of the kiosk will fall down. Place the roll of paper into the kiosk as you can see demonstrated. Close the door and the printer will automatically cut the paper. Then remove the waste paper and that's it, you're good to go. Okay, now that we've connected the WisePad, it's a good idea to place a test order. So all I have to do is click Start Order. I'm just going to select a drink in this case. Click on Checkout. Then click Place Order. The order price will appear on the screen. You'll also see the order price on the WisePad 3 itself. Just going to tap with my phone here. And once the order is completed, a receipt will print off from the device. And the order will then be sent to your Flipdish terminal or your POS system if it is integrated. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the T2 15 inch kiosk. If you have any further questions, contact us on help at flipdish.com or see the description below for more information.